doing with the business in the last five years in the UK is moving away from being a media agency to being a human experience company. And that is to say, moving away from being a business whose centre of gravity is around relatively static media planning and placement, to being a business that's about designing dynamic interactions around our clients' consumers uh, that are so meaningful, so engaging and so rounded that they change that consumer's behaviour. <laughs> This has changed the business in the UK in two ways really, uh, growth and innovation. So in terms of growth, um, we've seen the business grow very healthily over the last five years by around a third. Um, also interestingly, uh, the business in London has become um, a really thriving global hub within our network. Around innovation, um, the human experience company that we now are uh, paints across a much broader canvas than historically we have done, which has meant pulling in a far greater diversity of talent into the business. It's also had the knock-on effect of meaning that, that now well over half of our business is derived from digital, data and analytics and content. Essentially the focus of my new role is going to be uh, driving a similar transition to the, to the transition we've delivered in the UK over the past few years to the key markets in Europe. Um, and we're going to do this by um, working really closely with the local market CEOs and obviously the formation of the new European leadership team is, is a kind of a step change in the facilitation of that. Uh, we're going to make this happen through partnerships, technology and people. So to take partnerships first, um, the digital and performance marketing world is incredibly fast paced. That's going to put a greater onus on collaborative relationships than we've uh, ever seen before. So. Um, I think the interesting thing about that is not just uh, developing really close relationships with other parties uh, in a traditional sense, but actually understanding how we can jointly bring intelligence to bear on client challenges. We're often going to see uh, those relationships play out across more than one market as well, either regionally or globally. And I think the recent uh, Twitter deal that we announced earlier in the year is a really good example of just that. In terms of technology, we'll continue to draw technology and automation into our business to make us more efficient and effective. Um, I think an interesting uh, thing to note here is our approach to this area is going to be uh, continuing to establish a number of technology partnerships that keep, to keep us really fleet-footed rather than tying ourselves to a single technology provider. We'll of course continue to develop proprietary uh, technologies as and when appropriate. On people, uh, as I mentioned, the performance marketing world and digital worlds are moving incredibly fast. Uh, they're also very open-ended. And I think uh, whatever automation and whatever technologies you bring into the business, uh, your, your leadership in these uh, areas is only as good as the talent that you put in front of those technologies and in front of that automation. So we're going to stay very uh, sharply focused on bringing the best possible talent into the business in these areas and also on working to create an environment that allows that talent to thrive.